interesting. Um, okay. They're going camping. That's cool. And Scootaloo's the frayed one. Hmm. Then you kind of wonder at first, is she afraid just because she is legitimately scared or because she doesn't have anyone to turn to? Um, the first thing I thought of, like, hmm, is this going to be, like, showing us something about Scootaloo's backstory? Do, do, are they going to talk about her family at all? They hinted, or, well, hinted, they pretty much said that she doesn't have a sister of her own, which is why she needs Rainbow Dash. And it's odd because you might expect that she would have a, her own, you know, Pegasus family to be all like, oh, here's how you can do stuff. Because it sounds like she doesn't have someone to actually teach her how to fly. Then Rainbow Dash's actions at the end kind of confirm that when she's helping Scootaloo fly up the falls and being super adorable. So that was the first thing, and I was like, oh, well, I guess they're not going to talk about the family issue. So they don't talk about that. Instead, we get a dream sequence, which is not immediately obviously that immediately obvious that it's a dream sequence, just because the transitions really well. But then once you you look outside, it's like, why is it so bright? And you think about it for a moment, and then it's like, okay, it's a dream. Oh yeah, the old pony. Okay, and then there's that shot of Luna as she's running, and seeing that was just amazing because I like Luna. Luna's like my favorite character, and I was all like, oh, Princess Luna. And at first, I thought, and when when I watched it on Saturday, I'm like, well, maybe that was just a really short thing, and so I felt really awesome for seeing it. But a lot of the other people in the live stream had also seen it. And when I went back and watched it, it's actually much more uh, in your face than it looked the first time. It lasts for about a second. It, uh, it actually so shows Luna there long enough to see her walking. And even though her eyes are all like slendery or something, you know, no pupils. I hate slender, by the way. Stupid meme. <clears throat> even though her eyes are all white with no pupils and stuff, you can easily tell that it's Luna and she's there watching and doing stuff. Um, obviously, Scootaloo doesn't notice, which sets up the big dramatic irony and reveal, not irony, but the big reveal and stuff, and that makes it really cool for the audience. But it only does that because it was intended to do that. Um, and there's even, like, a musical cue in there. What happened to your spider? You were totally on a spider last night. Huh. Okay, it's just whatever. Weird. What? What? What's going on here? Okay, that's very weird. Come this way. We have stuff to discuss, and it's over here. Also, I need a plan. Prospector's pick and chisel. I need a hammer too. But I also need the bloomery. Damn it! I need like four things. Well, we'll see how much, how much we have. I have a setup right over here for this sort of thing. There we go. And we'll put this in here. So yeah, we were obviously meant to see the um, Luna appearing and being all Luna mysterious and stuff, and being all like, Luna, what is you doing? Ah, see, here's my handle. There's a thing there. I'm kind of worried that a creeper might show up, but there. <laughs> I guess it's something. So then the episode continues, and then there's the whole headless pony incident, the headless horse, and the headless horse looks like Luna. It's, and of course when Luna appears, it's obviously Luna, and. What's really cool is that this is something that if you think about a nighttime princess, you would ascribe to her. You would say, oh yeah, that's obviously something that Luna would do. Of course she's going to do that. Duh. Why, why not? This is not even a question. So, the fact they put that in there as Luna's official duties, that Luna's responsibilities are to raise the moon, lower the moon, um, handle night stuff, and then also to 
protect the ponies in their dreams and see how they're doing. And that's how she interacts with the ponies. Whereas Celestia goes and says, oh, hi, Lol, and sends letters and stuff. Luna's like, hmm, I wonder, and then goes into your dreams and says, hi, Scootaloo, how are you doing? Oh, you're afraid. You must face your fears. Also, they made Luna not be all like, super loud canter lot. Instead, she talks in a regular tone of voice, though she still keeps that formal edge, which makes her Luna. And even though it seems a little awkward at first, it's Luna, and it wouldn't be Luna if she didn't have that sort of formal tone to her voice. Um, the voice actress doing Luna at the moment is awesome. She's doing a great job. Keep it up. That episode was just great. I love Scootaloo, and I'm glad that she finally has a, a, a pony of her own, sort of, a big sister pony of her own. Yes. And I love Princess Luna, and the fact that they integrated all of that together and put Princess Luna in there, gave her the job that you think she would have, is just really cool. That's just... It's really cool. Also, screw that. Hopefully we won't lose this tin, but we need to uh, warm it up so that we can make us a pick. Well, I mean, we've got a pickaxe, but we need a prospector's pick in order to actually mine anything. And then a chisel to make a bloomery. So yeah, that's going to heat up. Do, 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 do. All right, there we go. And now we can work it. And prospector's pick. Bend, draw, and a punch. All right, there we go. Not bad. Okay, so let's go ahead, put that back in there. Let it warm up. We got ourselves a prospector's pick. We can pick prospectors now. Take that. So, I don't know what's coming up this Saturday as far as ponies. I think it's going to be awesome, whatever it is. I think that in the meantime, we're going to get this uh, considerate down into this here thing stuff fluid dogger I don't know we're gonna get it down and then we're gonna get another like one and a half things which means we'll be able to get the chisel quite easily uh, we may or may not get the hammer I'm not sure we'll see we've got dolomite for flux so we're good there and that means we could get more dolomite relatively easily which is excellent I will have more pony conversation and discussion when the new episode comes out, or when something um, happens in Ponydom. In the meantime, I think that this is probably a good spot for the video. So, um, if I if I did have anything to say, I guess about pony stuff, I would first say any any last words on ponies for now. I would first say that. If you liked the Swedish voice of Spitfire, and a lot of people were like all listening because she had this really cool Soren's apple pie and uh, stuff, you should totally go find her on Facebook, Aneli Heed. Very cool work she's done. She released a uh, Spitfire licit. She released it, the track for Spitfire Licious, which is of course uh, you know kind of a must for each of our ponies. And she's released a cute little pony Christmas song, which is really cool, I think. And I haven't heard Tara release a Christmassy pony song, so yeah, hmm, take that. Um, also, I think it's just cool to be supporting all of these people and whatnot, and I figure that you should go look her up. And then you should be like, ooh, foreign language ponies, woohoo, because that's always fun too. Next time on Terra Firmacraft, we're going to uh, have a little less boring video. 
it'll be uh, actually doing stuff, mining and whatnot, instead of just considerating and smelting and searching and whatever. Uh, I don't know if we'll build at all. I, I kind of suck at building, so we'll see. Depends if we have a chisel, which I think we will have a chisel. So, so that's all for now. I don't know exactly when the next uh, Terraformer video will be up, but the next Alpha Centauri video should be up in a uh, day or two, just because that one's a little bit. I don't know it, it's a little. It's nice and easy to make these as long as I don't have to edit them at all. <laughs> and I've been busy at school and stuff, so. But I'm just prolonging this. I will see everyone next time, and in the meantime, folks, keep on trotting.